this planet exists, even though it is totally ignored by the eight most important Republican senators of the pink universe. You can applaud. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
transition and in transition to be a mortician. <laughs> and this is my lovely assistant, Justine, who has a great routine, loves poutine, and got the Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> Thank you. Now, for you today, right before your very eyes, I shall perform a trick of epic proportions. One that will forever change how you, 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 you see the future. Now, all I need are three volunteers from law enforcement. Oh no, three volunteers from law enforcement. All right, now, for my first trick, officer number one. I'm officer number one. Yes, you are. Officer number one receives a domestic abuse call. Hey! Wait! But with the use of the magic words, disarm us, defund us. Number two, spots a group of teenagers fleeing a scene of a crime. Ooh. Or perhaps they're just walking home from school. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Ah, uh, but again, with the use of the magic words, disarm us, defund us, abolish <laughs> Officer number three. Mm -hmm. Officer number three spots a person who appears to be houseless, dressed strangely, asking for change on the street. There you go. Jolly Spoons, I must come clean. This has been no trick at all. No, this is a radical reimagining of society in which you, you, and you can participate in by pressuring your legislation to have the beep on the police. Yes. Thank you, Justine. And I, I am no magician.
request the rising sun's light until day is achieved. Light can not only mean the old light. We need new light. Because of the exhaustion, light suffers from the many misuses to which we submit it. Because of history's severe darkness, torches must be lit!
There once was a nation that was the greatest nation in the universe. Its mission was to spread the self-defense morality beyond its borders, far and wide. Strengthening governmental self-defense against non-submissive oppressed populations wherever needed. <laughs> Exactly there, where they are. Where? What? When? Thank <laughs> you. 
243 people, including 66 children, were killed by Israeli airstrikes in Gaza Strip during the 11-day assault that ended in a ceasefire Thursday night. More than 1,500 others were wounded. During the assault, in an effort to limit information coming out of Gaza, Israeli bombers leveled buildings that housed 33 media institutions, including Al Jazeera and the Associated Press. Yesterday morning, at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, Israeli troops stormed the compound, firing rubber bullets and stun grenades at Palestinian worshippers who had gathered to celebrate the ceasefire. In the occupied West Bank, where protests continue over apartheid conditions, Israeli forces have killed at least 13 Palestinians in the past two weeks. And in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in East Jerusalem, 58 Palestinian residents including 17 children, are set to be forcibly displaced by August 1st. Over 1,500 Palestinians in East Jerusalem are facing forced displacement and home demolition by Israeli authorities. continue to resist with everything we have from wherever we are. Resistance until liberation!
We have no idea how thick we are or how long we last. Our measurements are disguised in eternity statistics. Because of our everyday rising ability, we must realize our uprising capability. By the grace of light. By the grace of light. By the grace of light. In everyday light, lights its match and says
new light on the everything. The everything exists in the pink universe. Traversed by an old horse cart, settled by various typical human dwellings, and a dog. but is actually submerged in Mother Earth's green, which is exactly what sustains it. In this picture of the everything, Detect its pains or tears, which everyday life skillfully hides behind the walls of its dwellings. The overbearing provenance. of the pink hands of possession indi indicates existential questions. How can the everything continue under these circumstances? And when will the everything be able to declare the light that it needs for its continuation? <laughs> Wait! 
to everyone who showed up today. This is the conclusion of the Declaration of Light. Um, we would like to give a big thank you to Russ and his entire team here at Camp Mead and the Red Hen Bakery for all the delicious food. We, very shortly, we will be serving bread and aioli for the first time this year. So you are our inaugural serving of the year. Um, but before that ends, we like to let you know Upcoming shows, the first one, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, is the brand new premiere of a brand new opera called The Persians, which will have a bunch of musicians coming from all around, tested and or vaccinated, uh, who will be coming and working on this really great project. So those tickets are up on our website, so please, if you're interested, go check them out but I know everyone is even more excited to find out when the circus is starting. The first circus of the year will officially be July 10th, and we will do a circus every Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. ticketed, so please visit our website, um, all the way from July 10th to August 29th. Yay! for your perusal as we play some band tunes and give up the bread and aioli. But finally, the Bread and Puppet Theater still believes in one great nation, and that is the donation. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, there will be a hat over by the press station. I think also some of the bread servers will, might have a hat. Maybe we'll put one right here. Maybe there'll be one right over by the band. If you have anything to donate, we would gladly appreciate it so much. But nonetheless, thank you all for coming and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, <laughs> 